ask you is about honesty. So if honesty is faking reality and faking means you want it to be something other than it is, it's a feeling, it's a desire for something um, that you can't have. Like for, for example, you want, uh, I don't know, you want to play guitar really well, but you're ignoring the fact that you need to work really hard. And so that's a desire for something you can't have without enacting a certain effect. So it's that, that's what dishonesty is. It's, it's some, a desire for something without by with ignoring or blotting out the effect or it's stealing or it's a bunch of other things. And um, what about if you know that reason is your only source of knowledge and your only source of knowledge that you can validate and then you act on an emotional premise or a feeling or an impulse which you cannot identify uh, or you haven't thought through is that dishonesty because you know that reason is your only source of knowledge and your tool of survival and so aren't you in in essence saying i don't care I'm, i want to act on this impulse like if i go and eat a chocolate which i've done <laughs> just, hey i feel like eating a chocolate so i've gone and eaten a chocolate like if i ask myself why did i do that uh you know i, mean, I could probably sit and reflect over it and so on but I was, I was actually thinking, is the, isn't this dishonesty? Because if I know, and I do agree at least this much, that reason is the only source of knowledge that I can validate. And I do agree somewhat, actually a lot. It's, it's, it is, it's in proportions because it's not fully clear to me, but I do agree that reason is the basic uh, tool of survival. And so am I not wiping out that in some way when I just act on a random impulse like that and I continue habituating the process of acting on random impulses like that? I think that's a difficult example, but I, it's a good question, I think, because we're trying to ask what, to what extent you need to like acknowledge what you know, but then what does that imply what you should do? But you're right that it's not gonna provide you knowledge. I guess it's a matter of considering why do you even why did you act on the principle of the, on the impulse in the first place i mean it might doesn't have to be any grand reason it could just be that I mean, you were hungry or you felt like you needed something sweet i mean i think that can be enough for a reason sometimes i mean it, it calls attention to something I mean, you could oh. say i act on the impulse because it called attention to that you were hungry or you needed something sweet or or you just needed to, to relax for a minute, just have something relaxing. I mean, it, it's hard to identify exactly what happened. You can you can let the emotion make the, you can decide based on the emotion, but you would need some idea behind it. Like, why are you following the emotion? Why, I mean, really the emotion is what calls attention to something or you'll notice something because of the emotion. And sometimes it's fine just to use that information just well, I felt like eating it, so I ate it. And you can have a principle behind that, like, or a reasoning behind that. Like, why do you even follow the, the emotion? That's more the important question. Well, let, let's take my context. So in, the, in my context, um, I, I agree. If, if I were to go, okay, I feel like eating a chocolate, suddenly this idea of eating a chocolate has entered my head. I will eat the chocolate because I believe that um, I need sugary food and sugary food will help me function. That's one thing. Um, yeah. And it's another to just go, well, I don't know if I really need it, but I want it and I, I don't really have time to analyze it right now. And it's not going to cost me that much to eat it. That's another one. You know, I think that's fine. But if you just sort of act on it, like, well, I want it and you haven't analyzed it, then in a sense, it doesn't matter whether or not the impulse is legitimate. It's still acting on unanalyzed, unexamined motion. And that is then undercutting that premise of reason as the only source of knowledge uh, and reason as a tool of survival. And you're almost, yeah, you're ignoring that. I, I, I don't know how much of it is an active process, but whether by drift or evasion, you're ignoring it. And so that would be, 
considered dishonesty. I don't know if it's, if it's drift, it would be considered dishonesty, but I guess if you just go, well, I, I don't care. I just want to eat a quick chocolate now. Like that would be, wouldn't, yeah, that would seem like it would be dishonesty almost. I never thought about that way, but that's what it seems like. It probably would be. It's difficult to answer because um, to what extent can you take into account your your way of thinking about the situation? I mean, is it dishonesty? It might be dishonest if you're saying um, you recognize that there should be some basis, even if it's you don't recognize it. I mean, you you want to acknowledge that there is some basis or there is the reason is not your emotion. I, there should be some reason behind your feelings and actions in general. I think that's the sort of behavior you want to encourage within yourself. And if you, you could say it's dishonest to just say, yeah, I'll do impulse. I don't care about anything else. Um, it's hard to say would they stop caring or they're actually lying to themselves. Maybe it's not so important whether they, in this case, it's a, a dishonest to themselves as much as it's a type of evasion. I mean, evasion can fit in different kinds of virtues or lack of virtue. I mean, evasion could be sometimes just taking what you know and just not acting on it. It's more like that. I'm not sure if that's always dishonesty. Taking, say that again, evasion could be. Evasion could be just, you might not lie about anything to yourself. You just don't want to do it. You don't want to think. It's almost like even pre, I don't know how to phrase it. Like it's not even a rational consideration. You're just evading the thinking at all. I but according, could, go ahead. Right. And according to this definition, if you're aware, even on some level that evading doesn't change reality and you're ignoring reality, then you're faking it because you're, you're putting a desire above the fact of the matter. Okay. You're putting yeah. the, I wish, I think the way she formulated it, it was like, you put an yes. I wish above that it is. And so yeah. that would be, that would at least under this conceptualization of honesty, it would be dishonest yeah. to evade. Yeah. I think that makes sense. Yes. I think that's consistent. Does that make sense? Mm, okay. Um, <clears throat> I need to think about the part, you know, specifically the whole part of drift and focus more because I, then I think this would, if, if this makes sense, what I'm saying, and I think it does, then I'm possibly a lot more dishonest than I thought. Not, n not like monstrously dishonest, but in a lot of little things, there's definitely times yeah. when I will act on an impulse and like, I don't, I'm not, I feel the sense of not being fully clear, you know, like small things. Mm -hmm. And so that would um, fall under dishonesty then according to this morality yeah. anyway. Yeah. Let me think about that for a second. One moment. <laughs> 